All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. And uh, yeah, today I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, Nectar and which ones you should run uh, uh, and also on how to get them. Now, um, I will have to ask my girlfriend <laughs> um, about invigorating Nectar. She could check that out for me, but we're going to get to that in a second and how and where to get it. Um, but on the other side, first of all, uh, the Discord server, man, it's a lot of fun. We've been installing a lot of fun bots and we have a lot of uh, cool things uh, for you, such as custom commands or they are also going to help you build your own hive. So if you're interested in that kind of stuff, if you really want to boost your gameplay into the next level, you should definitely go on the Discord server, okay? Link is in the description box below. And now we are going to uh, talk about some Nectar stuff. So. If you're doing some boosts in general, and if you're doing some things, I know I kind of stopped mid-boost, I don't know, it's kind of stupid, but whatever, I kind of thought of making a video, because I haven't uploaded a video today. By the way, I upload videos every single day, every single day, one video, that's insane, right? So, uh, subscribe to the channel, right? I gotta do some self-promo on here. Um, yeah, anyway, so I'm really not doing a lot of stuff right now, because I'm so not thinking about things, so let's actually get into... Uh, yeah, the, the ones that you really need, the nectars, and uh, how and where to get them the fastest, right? So, uh, very important for a blue hive, especially for me, because nowadays, why would you be, why would you want to be a red hive, right? Why would you want to be a white hive? It's so expensive. Um, this is really based, uh, orientated on the blue hive, but obviously you could use them with other hives as well. But I personally think the best and most viable hive currently is and always probably, I don't know, maybe not will be uh, the blue hive. So, um, let's quickly talk about this, okay? Um, I'm running three different types of nectars, and you should be running three to four as well. So, what I got is comforting, motivating, satisfying, and invigorating. These are the four that you should kind of be uh, running when you're doing some boostings, or in general, if you just want to farm, because um, I'm going to tell you why they're good, actually. So, first of all, let's start off with a very easy thing to get, which is the blue clay planter. You can get the blue clay planter in the blue HQ, and it's actually not that expensive. You can scroll through and see how much it costs. It actually doesn't cost a lot. How do you get invigorating? What field? Um, clover. Clover, yeah. Cactus, Cactus mountain top and, and mountain top and pepper patch. So most of you uh, might want to get invigorating probably on a pepper patch. What planter? Do you have something um, there? Red clay planter. Yeah, the red clay planter. I have that too. It's also very easy to get. It's on the red HQ as well. So, um, yeah, so blue clay planter on pine tree is perfect because um, when you're blue hive, you're either going to farm on the pine tree field or on stump field. And uh, like in my case, I farm a lot on pine tree because I don't always want to do the stump snail because I'm lazy. So uh, a good way is the pine tree field here. Right, so you put down the blue clay planter and you can farm away and you will uh, always have a full stack of comforting nectar. Now, let's talk about satisfying nectar and motivating nectar. Now, I can really... Wait, am I good here? Uh, I can really uh, give you that tip that you should get the pesticide planter and the tacky planter. Tacky planter is also not that hard to get. The pesticide one is a little bit harder to get, but you should be really focusing on those three ones. You could use a candy planter too. Uh, it's not too bad. It's going to give you some stuff as well. But in this case, the tacky planter is really good. And the tacky planter is actually going to give you satisfying nectar. And you need satisfying nectar for uh, the honey per pollen, the white pollen boost, honey per hive, honey, ha honey at hive. That's really, really important because um, if you're a blue hive like me and you're going to uh, start using uh, the balloons, the capacity of the balloons, it's insane. It's really good. It's very meta. It's very OP. And where's my planter? I can't find it. There we go. Taggy planter. There we go. So let's put that down. Let's put the taggy planter down. And uh, we're going to go to the spider field for, what is it, motivating nectar. Ay, and you can use the pesticide planter. That's going to take some more time. But as you can see, I'm always running full stacks of these three things. Invigorating, like I said, you can do on the, uh, with the red clay planter on, um, up there, you know, uh, on the pepper patch. But I am sometimes really lazy to farm these things but trust me if you want to make honey in the game in general like if you want to make cash you know if you want to if you want to be rich you should be always at least running these three um 
Yeah, NAC does. Now, let's see for other hives, it's also good. Like if you're a white hive, for example, white pollen boost, honey at hive, uh, even red bee uh, convert rate, so it's even viable for a red uh, hive. We have comforting, obviously, blue pollen, uh, colorless bee convert rate, which is also very good. Uh, honey per pollen, also very good, and convert rate at hive, very important. Uh, motivating nectar, we have a blue pollen, uh, pollen boost again, and uh, also convert rate, honey per pollen, really good. And invigorating, obviously, the same thing just for the red pollen. But uh, yeah, the convert rate is there, and you could, uh, you should just run as much, you know, nectar as possible. But these are the ones that I truly think you should be using, especially in a blue hive. And um, yeah, this is about it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.